Hi everyone, this is Diane, and here I am again with my Timeless Ornaments Large Christmas Junk Journal. Um, this is going to be a domestic arts style, and if you're not familiar with my domestic art style journals, you can just um, type in, search in YouTube for Diane H. Domestic Arts, and I'm sure you'll find some videos. What they are basically is just large books, usually made out of crafting books or cookbooks, um, those sorts of things. And I have a different style of decorating them, usually, on the insides. So, I don't really have a plan for today's video, but I did put the cover together with a two-inch spine, and I used a piece of that very vintage tablecloth. Uh, this was a pretty good piece as far as staining. There's a little bit of yellowing right there, but that's it, and it's barely noticeable. And I edged it with this red velvety ribbon. And I haven't edged the inside yet, but I did fussy cut this, which was on the fly leaf of the original book. And it's so gorgeous, I had to preserve it. So I fussy cut it and then glued it on because I didn't want to lose it or have it get damaged. So I made sure it got put on. So I last night while I was watching a movie, I had all my fabrics and things downstairs and I was tearing and piecing together. So I've got a bunch of flips pinned together. Some are flips and some are little um, clusters, small things that can be tabs. So I want to kind of, <coughs> there's one of the little ones, kind of separate things a bit. And I'm going to go through and see where I want to put some of these. I'm sure it's more than I need for this book, but I can use them in the next couple of books, too. Okay. Oh, boy. It's been a day. My, my mother ended up in the hospital last night. She, she's not been feeling well for days and so my dad took her to get checked out, took her to the emergency room yesterday. I think it was early in the day that he took her and she was there. It was evening when he called me. I don't remember what time it was but it was after five o'clock I think when he called me and told me that she was in the hospital. They were keeping her. They don't know yet what the problem is. They've got some ideas, but they have to... They did EKG and CAT scan today, so I have to wait and see what those results are. Hopefully she'll get to come home tomorrow. I think I'll put one of the flips on this page. I'll do one of the... I'll do the angel. So my sisters came back out and the three of us went to see her at the hospital. Spent a couple hours there and my dad came and just when right after he came they took her for her EKG and CAT scan. So, oh sorry, hmm. we didn't want to leave him there alone waiting for her so we stayed and talked with him for a while. Isn't it moving? There we go. So anyway, I was gone for several hours and we ended up, my sisters and I ended up having lunch together. So I haven't been home much. So I'm hoping to get a little bit done here. clusters or tabs somewhere. I don't think that's too flimsy. This is a one of those fabric strips that I had, but it it was sewn to 
this little piece. This I just cut this little piece off of the strip, but it, and it was already sewn to that piece. So I decided to leave it that way. work and then take my car to get it inspected. Guess I'll put the next tab on this page. This one is one with the angel. Fairy. Fairy, not angel. Christmas fairy. Oh, I'm showing right over her face. Didn't think that through. some things to the next signature. This one is a vintage kitchen towel and a little strip of patchwork and some ribbon. Do it on the inside. in here. Oh, where, where was this? I'll have to compare it with the other signatures to see where it goes. Not that it matters all that much. Let's see, I put a tab on the wrapping paper. just don't have much room here. So this one has some bits of fabric and a, and a piece of rickrack and lace, so I'm going to have to sew, well, I don't have to sew it together first. I can sew it all together while I'm sewing it to the paper. Again. 
So there's that tab. Well, I wasn't planning on this being a very long video, but the um, battery light is flashing, so I know it won't be a long video. How do I want this? I'm going to sew this all together and then let it hang off the edge of the paper. I have something to look forward to on Saturday. I haven't been to the Tioga Downs flea market in over a month, and that's the one in the barns. Um, and one of my viewers lives in Binghamton, New York, which is, uh, Tioga Downs is between my house and Binghamton. My granddaughter lives in Binghamton. So this viewer contacted me and asked if I wanted to meet her at the buffet they have at Tioga Downs, which is delicious. It's expensive, but it's delicious. So my friend and I, the one that went to Alaska with me, and we're, we were planning, she's never been to Tioga Downs, so we were planning on going anyway. So Lisa and I are going to meet Catherine. Tioga Downs on Saturday. Lisa and I are going to um, hit the flea market before we go to the restaurant. Catherine didn't say she wanted to go to the flea market. She just said meet for lunch just so she could meet me and know someone in the area that's into junk journals. Which is really cool. And I always enjoy looking around at the flea market there. Getting toward the end of the season, it's not quite as exciting because, uh, I don't know, I guess things just aren't as replenished as much. But the first time I go in the spring, that's always exciting. So for this one, this is one of the bells from the tablecloth, and I have this piece of green rickrack going down the side of it. I want to sew that on to that piece. Then I had some white lace here and some red, tiny red rickrack. Maybe this piece is a little bit too small for this great big journal. Let's let's use one of the bigger ones because this will be too big for the other journals probably. Better pin that back together so I don't lose it. A Christmas tree printed on fabric.
This one I cut into a banner shape. <clears throat> think about some pockets or tuck spots where I can insert some of these pieces. Maybe I'll get these landscape things, turn those into some pockets. And I thought I would take these um, Tim Holtz 6x6 six six pieces that were was part of a 12x12 12 12 and I cut them apart because they were divided into, well those are the same, they're all the same. They are all the same, so I don't want to use more than one. But I was thinking of just tacking that onto one of the smaller pages, like maybe this one. I don't want it to extend beyond, you know, the perimeter of the signature, though, so I'll put it on right there. And I'll make it into a pocket. Which way will the pocket be? I think I'll have the pocket be right here. So I'm going to sew around these edges and that'll be open here. in there nicely. I also have these other journaling cards that I made the other day and some tags. This one I made last year and these I used mo napkins and Mod Podge them on this year so I need places to put some of these things and I have vintage Christmas cards, I want to make sure I get to use at least one in each album or journal. I'm going to take one of these large cards and make it into a pocket. this page, this is the old photo album page that I, I folded up rather than cut it off. And I'm going to sew all around it to make, um, actually I'm going to sew all the way around the page because I did that on one of them. I just want to see one thing. Okay. So I'm just going to sew all the way around the edge of the page. So on the bottom part, it's going to form this pocket, and on the rest of it, it's just decorative. 
I didn't sew them. I didn't sew that part because I don't want to shorten that pocket any more than it is because it's already a teeny tiny pocket. So that was the wrong place to start. I'm going to start right here. And then I'm going to sew right down the center so there will be room for two small tags on each side of the page. right in the center. All right, now let's find a place to put that pocket. So I have a pocket here. And here. Got a little tuck spot here and this is made, or as actually it is a pocket, and this is made from a vintage Christmas decoration. I got this in a box of stuff from a flea market. And I took the bells off. Here's one of the bells. Some of them went into journal kits. And um, I threw away the rest of it, but I kept the bells and I kept this package because I thought it was really cool. If I put this printable in, I have to back it with something. We have pockets here. I think the best place is to put it here. I don't really want to cover that up, but I can't put it way up here, so it's going to go down here. We've got Santa Claus here and here. Put some ribbon at the top. I don't need to cut some of it off. Maybe just a smidge. Buried my paper trimmer, <laughs> as usual. I did get to work on making covers for some of those glue books. My grandson was here today doing his charter school. He stayed here while I went to visit my mom at the hospital, and then we he came to lunch with us. His school was over early, so he was able. We had a late lunch, and he was able to come with us. But then I was. We were here waiting for his mom to come. So I didn't want to do a video 
at that time, so I just was working on putting together a few covers for junk journals. So I've gotten most of them put together with um, the chipboard and the Tyvek, but I haven't put fabric on them yet. Or the trims. tags in there and one of the vintage Christmas cards. That's so precious. I love that one. See what else we have going on in this. I think we must be pretty much done adding stuff to it as far as pockets and fabrics and things like that. I'll have to take one of these pieces of paper and cut it down and put it in there around the corners or something like that. This is a piece of um, file folder that had some napkin Mod Podge to it. I just cut it down and uh, rounded the corners and sewed it to this piece of cardstock to put on as a tuck spot. So, uh, something I haven't used are these Christmas stickers and um, gift tags, like the vintage gift tags. This one is one of the bigger ones, so I'd like to use that in one, in these bigger in this bigger journal, and then I can use some of these little ones too. So I think I'll just uh, decorate some of the pages with some of these things. I don't want to. <coughs> sorry, I don't want to decorate too much because I want the owner to be able to decorate it. Someone had just sent me these poinsettia stickers and they were all stuck together but I was able to get most of them apart. I was able to get them apart and only a couple of them were ruined by having the one in front of them leave paper stuck to it. So I was kind of looking for something that would go that way to cover up the stitching there. I suppose that would work that way, wouldn't it? Just looking for my glue. Wasn't looking for it, it was right where it was supposed to be. So I've had these gummed poinsettia stickers, these big ones with the foil. I've had them for probably a couple of years. And I may have used some, but I'm finally, hopefully going to get to use them. Like more of them. I'm 
I'll put uh, seam binding in there. Got my stapler so I can staple on a gift tag or two. It doesn't show up very well against that white background. Too much white there. So I could put this in between. That will help. Just sew that on. See if I have some red lace. Maybe that green. place there. Okay. Just sew a zigzag stitch right down the center. Let some of that white lace hang off the edge. better not so much white there now we've got two white pages together there all right um, maybe I'll just stamp something on one of these pages 
So for here, I've got playing cards I can stick in. What did I do with all of the playing cards? Stick that one in there. I'll stick this one in here. Put this one in here, and that one in there. So that might be, I don't know. I see, I just have so much stuff, and I'm barely using it. I'm barely touching what I have. I guess I'll have some left for next year, won't I? These are little die cut things. Not die cut, fussy cut things. What about those words I got from um, Mrs. Cod? I need to use some of them. Oh, here they are. Okay. We will definitely use some of these. So, let's see. Our hearts grow tender with childhood memories and love of kindred, and we are better throughout the year for having in spirit become a child again at Christmas time. Laura Ingalls Wilder. I'm not going to ink it because I'm not doing inking in this book. I'm just going to sew it on. Let's see, I'll put it over here. that. So I tore it right here. I'm going to reinforce the entire page with a big strip, well, a uh, one inch strip of paper. But I don't need to do that on camera. But of course I will do it. Jolly old St. Nicholas. So I'm getting one signature um, filled in with stuff and then I can follow the pattern for the other two signatures. And I can do some of this at the other table so I don't just have everything all at, all in one space competing for real estate because it's driving me crazy.
one on this page. These are all... Oh, okay. I was looking for some that just have words on them. Oh... Let's just put Jack Frost on here because we're going to cozy up with a warm and cuddly afghan because of Jack Frost being in, the, in town. I think we can put one on this wrapping paper piece. Then I think the signature will be done, unless I just want to glue on or staple on a couple more tags or Christmas stickers or something. Maybe these words or quotes could be a prompt for something you might want to write on that page. In this case, you'd want to write on a piece of paper and then glue it on here. Unless I added something like this to it. I might do that trim that down and then glue it on there. Okay, that's going to do it for today. You can see what I'm doing with these journals. I just have to add the same elements or similar elements to the second and third journals, uh, signatures I mean. They already have the fabrics and some of the other things added in them, so we're making good progress on this despite the crazy week I'm having. Okay, so hopefully I'll be back tomorrow with some more progress, and uh, I'll be seeing you again real soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.